The Ultimatum. Queer Love aired its final two episodes, and between the drama of Ultimatum Day and the shocking reunion, the drama felt like it was non-stop. The five original couples finally made it to Ultimatum Day, where they would need to choose to get engaged to their original partners or move on to an uncertain future. Things were tense for the pairs as they got ready to make their final choices. With viewers having been left on a cliffhanger as to what was going to happen between Yoli Rojas and her original partner Mal Wright, the finale of The Ultimatum. Queer Love managed to answer every lingering question possible. After the couples made their fateful decisions, they reconvened for the show's reunion episode. Filmed nearly a year after The Ultimatum, Queer Love Season 1 wrapped, things had changed massively for some of the couples. Others were still in similar situations as they left off, happily working towards building their futures together. The reunion offered check-ins with each of the couples as well as some fun never-before-seen footage from the series. With the couples having a lot to share about their time on the series and what's happened since filming wrapped, the reunion offered some incredibly shocking moments. 10 four couples got engaged. While two broke up four couples got engaged in the ultimatum. Queer Love's finale episode. Mal and Yoli began the engagement addressing the fact that Yoli was still having feelings for Xander Boger while deciding to choose each other. Tiff Durr proposed to Mildred Bustillo at the spot where the pair first met, finally choosing to settle into a future together. Aussie Chow finally proposed to her girlfriend, Sam Marks, though not before giving her a heart-shaped stone as a fake out. Finally, Ray Chung Sutton and Lexi Goldberg sweetly proposed to each other. Unfortunately, Xander had a difficult ultimatum day, breaking up with long-term partner Vanessa Papa before being rejected by Yoli hours later. 9. Yoli Xander had a difficult conversation about their relationship while Xander was hoping for a better outcome. When she finally spoke with Yoli after her breakup with Vanessa, things were less than ideal. Yoli professed her love for Xander, the two speaking closely and intimately for several minutes before Yoli revealed that Mal had proposed to her earlier that day. She told Xander she said yes, but removed the ring before coming to talk to her newfound love so it wouldn't impact her decision. While Yoli was torn up about the decision, she ultimately said she had to see her relationship with Mal through. She left Xander alone and heartbroken after several minutes of tears. 8. Xander and Vanessa tearfully said goodbye before she met with Yoli. Xander and her long-term partner Vanessa had a conversation about the state of their relationship. Before the pair went on the ultimatum. Queer love. Xander was hopeful that Vanessa would decide she wanted to get married though she'd been adamantly against it for years. While Vanessa softened during her trial marriage, missing Xander and deciding she could see herself getting married, Xander fell for Yoli. Her strong feelings for her trial marriage partner pushed the couple to decide that while they shared love for one another, their relationship was no longer working. They tearfully parted after some incredibly heartfelt sentiments were shared. Seven Yoli said her head chose Mal. But her heart chose Xander Yoli, who had an incredibly difficult time leaving Xander, was heartbroken after they called things off. She even went back to tell Xander she was sorry and that she loved her one last time. Though Yoli was struggling, she was able to effectively voice why she couldn't choose Xander. She explained that though Xander had her heart, Mal was in her head. She couldn't let go of the relationship she came into the ultimatum. Queer love with without seeing the engagement through. Xander understood this, even if she didn't want to let Yoli go.
Six Sam Aussie were the only couple left standing after the reunion The Ultimatum. Queer Love's reunion was full of revelations, but the biggest reveal was about Sam and Aussie. Though most of the couples on the series got engaged on Ultimatum Day, after a year had passed and they met up to film the reunion, nearly every couple had broken up. By the time the reunion aired, all but one couple had called off their engagement and chosen to move on. Sam and Aussie, who were happily engaged on Ultimatum Day, are the only couple who's still together after the season ended. 5. Vanessa Xander agreed they're meant to be friends Vanessa and Xander broke up on Ultimatum Day and had very little contact with one another before the reunion was filmed. While Vanessa explained that she would have liked to keep in touch with Xander, she felt she needed to grow and change as a person before she could allow that connection back into her life. Tearfully, after Vanessa apologized for the chaos she caused on the series, she explained that she missed Xander and felt they were truly meant to be best friends. Xander agreed, hoping that their friendship could continue and grow after the reunion. 4. Mal Yoli had a tense breakup Mal and Yoli were tense during the reunion, very quickly announcing that they had a difficult breakup after Ultimatum Day. While the timing of the event differed, it was clear their breakup happened in a short amount of time after the series finished filming. The two argued during their segment on the reunion episode, unable to agree about when they broke up, why they broke up, or how. Yoli explained there was no forward momentum in their relationship, and Mal agreed they were better off apart. 3. Xander Yoli decided not to pursue a relationship Xander and Yoli, who had tearfully confessed their love during their breakup, decided not to pursue a relationship after Mal and Yoli's breakup. According to both Xander and Yoli, the pair saw each other at Coachella in 2022, but other than that have not interacted much outside of talking in DMs. Vanessa and Mal were quick to jump on the fact that the couple had spoken throughout the last year, but both Xander and Yoli vehemently denied anything more happening between them. However, they didn't rule out any future connection. Two Tiff felt gaslit by Mildred walked off the reunion said Tiff and Mildred were a difficult pair during the ultimatum. Queer love, but after getting engaged in the finale episode, they seemed to be headed on the right path. Unfortunately, the pair didn't make it to the reunion and had an incredibly tense argument. Mildred, who seemed to be lodging complaint after complaint against Tiff without much room for her to fight back, was unhappy with the behavior she saw once she moved in with her ex. Tiff felt gaslit by Mildred and ultimately decided to walk out of the reunion before she started to cry. Tiff didn't return for the end of filming. One Ray and Lexi were together, but split after the reunion Ray and Lexi were meant to be one of the ultimatum. Queer loves love stories, both gushing about their engagement and future throughout the reunion. After the episode finished, a text came up on the screen announcing that shortly after the reunion was filmed, Ray and Lexi decided to call off their engagement and end their relationship. While they aren't together anymore, Ray and Lexi did seem to be moving forward during the reunion. Nothing is known about their breakup, but the couple was talking about plans to move to be more bi-coastal. Perhaps the stress of their living situation pushed them to call it quits.
Now.